All right, so in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to build in a, you know, there's a big thing about uh, people talking about scatter and, and like doing alarms and deep, deep, deep alarms. So we're going to build out a deep alarm system. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our system that we've been building upon and we're going to add to it, right? So first, what we need to do is we're going to have to add uh, sys UDTs to this. So I'm going to actually add two UDTs and we're going to build these UDTs right now, right? Now, if you don't know what a UDT is, right? It's a user defined data type, right? So we're going to actually make those. So this is going to be, um, I'm going to call this UDT and then this is going to be string. Um, now, this is going to be the UDT string for, and let's actually make that capital because Oh, it just it just looks better, and then this is going to be the the uh, strings values of, of what we're going to do is we're going to call this the string uh, string text, and this is going to be a value of what we're going to use is we're going to make this this data table huge, right? So uh, we're going to have a string as a value, and then we're going to make our data ta table around four hundred and eighty. Now, this is an array of 480. That means 480 things can be displayed in the string value. Now, we're going to make this. Now, we've made our first data type, which is this UDT. Now, we're going to come into this next section, and we're going to make another UDT, okay? And in this UDT, what we're going to do is we're going to make the second one is, is going to be a lot bigger. It's going to be a lot deeper, okay? This is going to be the UDT for FOF, okay? So this is the first out fault, right? So we're basically gonna do a fault system. We're gonna be using, so we'll, we'll call this the um, uh, user, user defined data for use in a first out fault system and again we're going to build this out and we're going to keep like like i said we're going to just get this right so we're going to get this in the next couple videos but we're going to get it um now just this this video is again just going to build out a udt showing you how to do that so this is going to be our first first out right and this is going to be a value uh we're going to make this a dent so we're going to come in and make this a dent and it's going to make it a dent of 15. Um, and then we're going to mask all this. We're going to do all kinds of stuff, right? So we're going to come in and do this. So then we're going to do a description. It's going to be descript and the description is going to be slightly different. Now the description is going to be using the UDT that we just made. So we're going to call that UDT string, right? We don't need but one instance of that. Why? Because the simple fact of we have 480 versions of it, right? So that's basically going to drag in this string value, right? So again, that's just dragging in everything we've built. So um, the size, so we're going to do the size and then we'll come in and do that. And then this is going to be, uh, we're going to use an int right here. So uh, and then again, that's just showing you that and then well, this will all make sense as we do it right so then we're going to have a mask now we're masking our data we'll call this mask data right so we're going to mask our data just so you can understand what we're doing and this is going to be again a dent so this is where things are going to start lining up where they're the same so this is going to be a dent of 15 again and we're going to add another one this is going to be filtered filtered data, All right? So this is gonna be a dent of 15. Um, this is gonna be a dent. And then the dimension again is 15. So there's basically an array of 15, right? So this is, that's what equates out to 100 or 480, right? So if you think about that, right? So then this is gonna be active and then this will be a dent of 15. Now, we're gonna actually come in and use these, right? 
and I'll start showing you some of this stuff as we do it you know and we're only five minutes into this so why not get started right so why not get started on some of this and we're gonna save and apply this right here and then we're gonna come in and make a new fault routine right here okay so what we can do is we'll have another section and so we'll do another task and we'll call this um, fault fault handling so this would be fault handling this is not going to be continuous it's always going to be like like what I do again is periodic and I, t I time everything properly so again one of my tasks is 75 milliseconds the next one is 47 next one is 80 and this one is so let's put this one at 125 because when we do faults I mean they don't need to be necessarily like pertinent to so we're gonna keep that and then we're gonna come in here and add our first routine which is main um, and we'll call this a main routine right why not keep it consistent with everything we're doing and let's do that and as we're doing that right so again we have our main routine coming in to doing that now we want to come back in here to properties again like we've done before right and then you want to make sure that this this is in there okay so this is all all done up and it's it, everything's working properly right so everything is is inside of that and making sure the properties of this is correct right the main routine right we just we don't have that in there yet and what we're gonna do <clears throat> is we're gonna come in here and, and label this the, the proper way and actually you know thinking about it we could probably name this being that we have a couple more uh, let's just name this the correct thing uh, so that you we can understand so we'll call this fault fault um, our first out fall and then put that there now we have that now let's let's go ahead and add our, our routines in there this this will be our main routine um and and i was going to keep it i was going to keep it at high level like we just had it you know main routine main routine but uh, then when it comes down to it you know then you want to have your main routine right here so just to keep it simple and keep it consistent with what we've been doing and let's go ahead and delete this um, because we're, we're not going to get add any rungs to it we're just going to add our stuff into it so then we want to add next thing is we want to add a new one called faults okay and then we're going to add a new one called um F, this would be uh let's just call this uh first out okay so that's going to be first out and then this next one will be the first out fault and then we're going to do lmds so we'll call this uh first out almds and if you don't know what an lmd is you will by the time we're done okay so uh basically it's, it's just going to be using a, an alarm type that is very functional and uh, efficient in what we're doing so let's in our main routine here let's go ahead and add our jsrs so again we're going to add a rung add a rung and add a rung and what we'll do is we'll throw our jsrs in there and again you just know how, how I, I like to double tap and then edit the top bar so i can easily pull my instruction in You've seen that before it's pretty prominent it's pretty easy it's quick it's really really efficient and quick i mean it's just that's what you're about that's what you're trying to get functional right so now we have all this in here we have now in this 10 minute period we have edited and added so what do we have here we have two errors why do we have oh we have an empty wrong so we need to add delete these so when you when you open these sometimes they have empty wrongs let's make sure we don't have any empty, empty, okay so we have two empty wrongs I just want to make sure that that's why that wasn't uh, coming in 
So now we have that accepted. We have all our things in there. So um, in this video, what we've done again is we made our first out faults. We made our our basically our our UDTs that we're going to be using in our first out faults. In the very next video, what we're going to do is we're going to start filling this stuff out. We're going to start adding in our faults, but First and foremost, we're going to add in this main, main routine, which is going to be our first out. We're going to show you how to do the data handling of everything, right? Everybody's really kind of conscious and wanting to know how to do heavy data handling, right? And understand how to do things and, and, and do uh, different things with SCADA and stuff like that. Now we're going to show you how to do that. And then we're going to tie it into an actual factory talk se system again you know i have this factory talk se system already running you've seen it in the past couple videos and we're building on top of that but this video is right at 10 minutes right now so i want to go ahead and conclude with this video and we'll see you guys on the next one